What's up, guys? Welcome back to Napoli Central. My name is Giovanni. Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. We've reached 400 subscribers, and I haven't been active. So for some of you guys that are, have been subscribing, thanks a lot. I really do appreciate it. I've just been working, unfortunately, right near the match times, and it's just been hard. But got to watch this, and I just want to make a quick review. It's a huge 2-1 victory for Napoli today uh, at Atalanta uh, in Bergamo. It's always a, a tough place to play, and, you know, historically... We've struggled there, uh, but recently against Atalanta, we've uh, you know we've done better. At least last season we did. Um, I don't remember if we beat them though at home to begin with. So if I'm wrong there, excuse me. But I just there's a lot of things going through my head. But a huge two one win. It's always hard to come back after a Champions League match, even though we played. Uh, what was it last Wednesday? Uh, it's been uh, what has it been? five days since then so it's still a shorter turnaround than usual it's not your you know one match in seven days turnaround uh there's no international break so it's always harder to come back i feel like after a champions league match where you had to win the game and we did against red star but now you take it to atalanta juve was um 11 points up because they played yesterday or saturday it was so uh, you know, just I know getting this victory was still eight points behind, but just to apply some pressure uh, to get a big result away from home in a place where it's hostile and, uh, you know, it's not the easiest place to go and win. So it's it just feels great to have gotten that win. Great goals um, to first to start the match and then the end of the match. It's a little, it was kind of polar opposites. Uh, we start off hot literally with the goal in maybe a minute and a half, maybe probably less than that uh, with Fabian Ruiz after an insignia assist. Um, and then the whole match, Atalanta really played played well. I'm going to give credit to all the Atalanta people if you're watching this video or whatever, but the players played a, a huge match. Gasparini had them going for this match. Um, you know, they, they really, really attacked the whole match. Duvan Zapata, a former Napoli player, scored their goal, and it was honestly deserved. Um, it, it was kind of weird the way it happened because the ball was driven into the box and a player kind of shanked it, uh, but it fell to, I think it was Hadebord who headed it down for D Duvan for the finish, so... Um, it was deserved, though. They were attacking the whole match. Uh, after our goal, they really kept pushing, pressing us hard, and they built up to that goal. They got it. Um, and then we were looking really, uh, you know, we were kind of sluggish, I feel like. A couple of people that we usually have good games from didn't have too many great games. Alan played a lot better in the second half. I think uh, Kaihon wasn't his best game today, um, and I'm not one of those Kaihon haters. I usually uh, think he's very valuable to the team, and he is. Just today, he didn't have too great of a performance, in my opinion. Um, we, you know, Mertens uh, couldn't have too much of an impact today. They really shut him down. Insignia had a chance to, I think it was whistled offside, but it was saved by the keeper and then hits the post, but it was called offside. Uh, and then he missed a chip when, when, a goalie, when the goalie came out too. So they could have been up more than 1-0 in the first half. Um, but then Millie comes off the bench in like the 80th minute, some, somewhere around there, and scores five minutes later with a Mario Rui assist. Rui was good today. I'm sorry. There's a lot of Rui haters out there. And if you're watching this video, probably some of my friends that I know, I know he's not the elite option that people want at left back. He may not be Gulam, but um, Rui whipped that ball in great today to Milik. Milik takes a first touch that kind of had the ball jump up high, but he settles it after that with a half volley. Beautiful goal in the 85th minute, and they seal it there. Uh, we almost scored a couple times after that, had some decent looks. We didn't score. Um, but for Milik also to come on today, uh, not starting the past couple of games, coming on, scoring that goal. Hopefully, this turns his confidence around, gets him rolling. Because if he can get going, then uh, we're off to the races. I think our team gets immensely better with Milik in form. Um, but he scored a huge goal to seal these three points today. And like I said, Rui, a couple clearances that were major clearances. Even later in the game, a Duvan cross into the box. He headed it out. Um, I think he was really good today. Uh, Kuli belief, phenomenal as always, uh, like I said. So... Just a great win. Just wanted to come out here. I hadn't made a video recently. I'm sorry about that. But I don't know if I'll make a video for the next Serie A match. But I definitely will for uh, the Liverpool game because that's a huge decisive match in the Champions League. I'll be with my friend, actually, that I haven't seen in a while. So it'll be fun to make a video with him and uh, talk about the match. So I'll see you guys then. Keep subscribing if you haven't liked this video. Um, and I thank you guys very much. Forza Napoli Sampere. Ciao.